Hi everyone! So today we're going to talk about PHP and JSON. Okay, so let's start knowing what is JSON. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation and is a syntax for storing and exchanging data. Since the JSON format is a text-based format, it can easily be sent to or from a server and used as a data format by any programming language. Okay? So, saan ba natin usually may encounter yung mga JSON data? So, just like if you are utilizing some API, Usually, yung mga response data is in a JSON format. Okay, so other than that, if you are, let's say, managing some AJAX requests, so yung magiging response value nun is also in a JSON format. So those are some examples kung saan ba natin ma-encounter yung mga JSON data. Okay? Okay, so now let's try to talk about yung JSON syntax rules. So JSON syntax is derived from JavaScript object notation syntax, wherein data is in name value pairs, data is separated by commas, curly braces hold objects, square brackets hold arrays. Okay? Then regarding the JSON data naman, so JSON data is written as name value pairs. So a name value pair consists of a field name in double quote and then followed by a colon then followed by a value. So ito yung sample natin. So we have here yung name which is the field name. So you can name it whatever you want. Then yung colon dito and then of course yung value. Now, we have here yung JSON object natin. Ito yung sample natin for the JSON object mismo. So, as you will notice, meron na siyang curly braces. Okay, guys? Okay, so now let's try to talk about yung PHP built-in functions for handling JSON. So, the first is yung JSON encode function wherein it is used to encode a value to JSON format. And then, we have the JSON decode function, which is, it is a function that used to decode a JSON object into a PHP object or an associative array. Okay? Okay. So, ngayon, let's try to um, discuss more on details about the JSON encode. So just like I said, JSON encode function is used to encode a value to JSON format. And then, as you will see here, we have here yung sample code natin. So, mapapansin nyo, meron tayong array dito, or be specifically, uh, yung associative array, which composed of a key and value. And then, yung ginawa natin dito, I pass this h variable to the JSON encode function. So, what will happen, it will be converted into a JSON format, which basically has a data type of string. Kaya, kung mapapansin nyo dito, I can directly echo yung data. Once I do that, ito yung magiging output natin. So, nandito pa rin yung mga key, BNMAR, sa array natin, BNMAR, then of course, yung other keys and values. And other thing na mapapansin natin is nagkaroon na siya ng curly braces. Okay? So, that's how we can convert an array or even an object into a JSON format. Okay? Okay, so now... We have this kind of scenario. San ba natin talaga magagamit yung JSON encode? So let's say we have this array, basically yung kanina. And we plan to store these values, C, 
same key and value na makikita natin sa array, we want to store this, let's say, on a database or a isang text file. So, if we do this, guys, that we're in, we plan to directly save it to the database or sa text files, what do you think will happen? Basically, it will cause an error. Okay? Magkakaroon niya ng error kasi hindi yan allowed. We cannot save an array to a database or to a text file. So, ano yung gagawin natin? We need to convert it into something else, kagaya ng isang string. So, ano yung means na magiging string yung value niya? Or yung whole value of that array? We can utilize yung JSON encode function. So, what we have done here, we just pass this variable h to the JSON encode function. And then, it will convert it into JSON format. So, JSON format is also having a data type of string. So, once it is already converted, now we are allowed to save it to the database or to a text file. So, if we do that, then it will be a success process. Okay, guys? So, ganun lang on how we, um, if we want to save an array into a database or a text file, we need to convert it first into a JSON format using the JSON encode. Okay? Okay. Now, since na-save na natin yung data natin sa isang text file o di kaya sa isang database, and then we plan to retrieve yung data, ito yung makikita natin. It is already in a JSON format. Now, what, paano naman, ano naman yung gagawin natin if we want to manipulate it through PHP. I think it will be difficult for us to do that kung string pa rin siya or JSON format pa rin siya. So, yung gagawin natin, we need to convert it back, let's say, in a form of array o di kaya in a form of object. Okay? So, we need to do that kasi kung array na siya o di kaya object na siya, we can easily manipulate it using our PHP codes. Okay? So, that's the next thing na pag-uusapan natin which is about the JSON decode. So, basically, um, the JSON decode function is used to decode a JSON object into a PHP object or an associative array. So, let's say ito yung code natin. Then, ito yung JSON data. Let's say ito yung nakuha natin or na-retrieve natin coming from the database or from a text file. And that what we have done here, we just passed yung data na to sa JSON encode function. And once that process is done, um, i-return -re naman niya yung object format niya. Okay, so what I have done here in the third code, third line of code, um, I used printr. Okay, so kasi I cannot directly echo this. Um, data kasi object na siya. It will cause an error. So, for me to view yung mga laman ng isang object or di kaya array, I use printr. So, other than that, we can also utilize yung bar dump to view yung mga um, object data or di kaya array data. Okay? So, let's try to check out yung um, sample output niya. So, ito yung makikita na natin it will be in an object format. Okay? So, in that way, we can easily manipulate that one na. Ngayon, what if I don't want object? I want an array. So, all we need to do is in the part of our JSON encode function, we just need to pass a second parameter of true. Yun lang. That's the only thing na kailangan nating papalitan or idadagdag dyan. Then, once you run that code, and ito na yung mariretrieve natin. It is already in a form of array. Okay? So, if that's the case, guys, kung makukonvert na natin pabalik yung mga JSON data natin, then we can easily manipulate it on our PHP code. Okay, guys? So, that's how we can manipulate of converting yung um, 
JSON format or JSON data back to other form like array or object using this particular function which is the JSON decode. Okay? Okay, so let's have a recall on what we have learned on this particular topic. Okay, so first we had learned about what is JSON and then about the JSON syntax rules, then the JSON data, first the PHP built-in functions for handling JSON, which is the JSON encode and JSON decode. Okay? Okay, so those are the things that we had discussed on this particular topic. So I hope you learned something new today, guys. So if you did, please click thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified if there are new videos that we're going to upload. Okay, guys, so just like I always say, just keep practicing and never stop learning. Thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye for now.